Okay, today is all about your feet. We are gonna be covering the 510 Freeriders and the 510 Freerider Pros. And my goal is hopefully to help you decide which one is right for you. Now, if you are new to my channel, I don't do a ton of reviews. I'm a leadership coaching specialist and professional artist, so I like to have a little creative fun, and I believe the trails are always teaching us lessons about life. So a lot of times that's what my videos are focused on. Not all of them, I don't like to stretch it too far just like to have a good time with them. But today is a review, and I hope this review helps you out. Now, we're only covering the free rider style of 510 shoe, meaning we're not covering the trail cross or the impact pros or any of the other things they offer. If you run flat pedals, we're only gonna talk about the free riders. Let's talk about the free rider and the free rider pro. What's the difference between them? Why would I want one over the other? What am I getting for them? Let's talk about it. First off, the 510 Free Rider. We're gonna call this the standard one, the classic one. This one will run you about $100, it's canvas. This is a dope shoe. I love the Free Rider shoe. And 510 is known for their stealth rubber. These great dots on the bottom is incredibly, incredibly grippy. And when you have a great flat pedal, I happen to prefer Crank Brothers Stamp 7, and you have a pair of 510 Free Riders, these things just grip. And uh, it still allows you to get your foot off if you have to bail in an emergency, but when you wanna keep them planted, it does a really, really great job of keeping them planted. Now the standard Free Rider, you see a lot of riders uh, rocking this shoe. The standard Free Rider, um, when I got these, which was a couple years ago, these are really durable shoes, they run a little small. I wear a size 11 and I had to go up to an 11 and a half on them because my toes actually were touching the top, but the 11 and a halves are incredibly comfortable. You put these things on and you honestly will be okay wearing them on the trail, off the trail, if you wanna go get something to drink, eat afterwards, or uh, you know what, just look pretty fly out there. Um, these are great shoes. Uh, the thing is, the standard ones are canvas, so they're not weatherproof. They're not waterproof shoes. So if you go through a lot of water, depending on the type of trails that you ride, you absolutely will get water in here, which is gonna get into your shoe. Now, you can obviously always dry them out, but canvas just is not the most durable material, but it is very comfortable. Now, also with the Free Rider, the standard one, this sole is not as thick even though it's the same stealth rubber, it's not as thick as the sole on the Freerider Pro. Uh, meaning you have more flexibility on this shoe and you have more pedal feel on the actual shoe. You can actually feel the pedals there. Can you see how I'm kind of uh, pushing that in? You can actually feel the pedal on your shoe more than you can on the Free Rider Pro. Now, if that's your thing and you like that, then this is definitely gonna be the shoe for you. Now, personally for me, I don't want a lot of that pedal feel. I don't, I don't wanna feel the pressure of that. I'd rather have more of the shock absorbing properties that the Free Rider Pro gives than the standard Free Rider. So, the Free Rider Pros, what makes them pro as opposed to the other one? Well, the first is it has this synthetic upper. It's kind of like this you know, synthetic material. It's weatherproof, meaning as water hits this, um, you're not gonna get, like your foot's not gonna get logged. Now there are some air holes in here so some water can get in, but I mean, this is definitely a better option than the canvas standard free riders if you are riding around in, um, you know, wet conditions. The free rider pro is gonna protect your foot better than uh, the standard free rider, simply because this is canvas and this has this synthetic uh, upper and the toe is actually protected more. So if you have a lot of rock strikes on your toes or pedal strikes, or your foot is clipping the ground sometimes, you've had an accident in the past, definitely go with these. These are gonna protect your foot on uh, your toes a lot more than, than this will. The other thing is you're gonna notice that this free rider compared to this free rider, the Pro is actually a little narrower. They run more true to size. So this is actually a size 11, because I wear size 11, and this again is an 11 and a half. I needed to go up bigger on this one. Now, depending on the kind of socks that you decide to rock, if they're thick or if they're thin, you might want to size up on this, but they're pretty true to size. So I feel very comfortable in a size 11. I think I'd feel comfortable on a size 11 and a half too, but I might have to mitigate a little of that space with a different thickness of sock uh, on it. As I mentioned, the sole on this, even though it's still that stealth rubber, um, this one's a little thicker. And you'll see, I'm I can't bend that in as easy as I can 
on the standard one. Uh, and the flexibility on this one is just a little different, meaning you get more shock absorbing properties on the Freerider Pro. So both got the same grip, but if you really want a more comfortable ride, the Freerider Pro is gonna be the way to go. Now the thing I don't like, bouncing back over to the standard one, about this, and it's an easy thing to change, is man, these laces are crazy long. Like I don't, I, I don't like that personally. Let's see if you can see the difference in length on these things. See, these things are kinda, kinda long. You see that? Kind of long, um, but that'll give you an idea. Obviously, you can you can swap swap that out. It's an easy thing uh, to swap out altogether. Free Rider Pros, $150 for those. Standard Free Riders are $100. Which one do I recommend? Having run both of them, I absolutely recommend Free Rider Pro. Now, if the Free Riders are within your budget, you're not going to go wrong with these things. I mean, I think if you do the math, it's somewhere like for 100 bucks, you're you know, if they last you a year, you've paid a little over $8 a month to have these things and have your feet planted on your bike. Great shoe, comfortable, great looking shoe. $100, well worth it, really well made. Um, since these are $150, I think the math on that's a little over $12, somewhere $12.50 or something like that a month. If these things last you a year at $150, sometimes you can get a really good deal on them, I believe. I mean, these were given for me as a gift, but I believe they were on sale. and. Uh, I really love this color too, so that was pretty cool. Hey, speaking of color, Adidas, 510. Um, stop the gender colorways, man. I want pink shoes for myself, and I want purple shoes for myself, and you guys say that those are in the women's shoes, and then I can't find my size in that. Otherwise, I would just wear those shoes because I think those are dope colors. So stop the gender-specific colorways. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels like that, but I like having pops of color on my gear. So that's it, 510 Freerider, 510 Freerider Pro. Pick whichever shoe is right for you, you're not gonna go wrong. If you can squeeze a little more out of your budget and go and spring for the $150 Freerider Pros, I absolutely recommend them. I think they're worth the extra $50 for sure. If you don't wanna do that, you just like the colorways or the comfort more on the standard canvas one, go with that. You're not gonna make a mistake with it. If you're really on the fence and you wanna try these out, here's a little tip for you. Go to REI and spend $20 on their lifetime membership. You can return anything for up to a year, even if you've worn it, and they actually encourage you to go out and use it. Because if you return it within that year, they're just gonna put it up in their, what they call their garage sale, and someone's gonna get a really good deal on a really good product. Meaning, you can buy these for $100, and if you're not into them, then you can return them and pick these up. Or maybe you buy them both at the same time, try them out, return the pair that is not right for you. There's a little tip. I love REI. I think they do good stuff. I'm not sponsored by them, but if you're watching this REI, let's talk. If this has helped you out, I would love for you to like this video. Share it with a friend who might be on the fence about which shoe that they want to get. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to earn your subscription. Anything you do like that, comment, like, all the interaction, it just helps this channel get discovered. Next time, I hope to be back out on the trails and not quite sure when I'm hitting, but stay tuned next Monday and we'll see where the adventure goes. Peace. Say what you want, say what you will, I miss the ride.